Spiritual's project produced exciting, contemporary works by women of color. Muse director, Dr. Catherine Roma, built on her work with Muse, the Martin Luther King Chorale, Gala, and Sister Singers to reach out to women of color who are composers and arrangers. Jazz pianist Mary Watkins brought us God is All There Is. Rachel Bagby shared her experience with her aging mother in her piece Daughter Wise Suite and Bernice Johnson Reagan inspired us with Still Gotta Get Up in the Morning. The Muse performance with the Central State University Chorus and Dr. Rosephany Powell in 2006 led to us commissioning her for the 12th New Spirituals concert. Her composition, Keep Your Lamps, was published this year as a part of the Muse Choral Series. Four of the six compositions or arrangements in our Muse Choral Series come from New Spirituals. Many of the songs first performed in a New Spirituals concert have become standard muse repertoire, such as Take Heart, Greed, and We Are, whose text, For each child that's born, a morning star rises and sings to the universe who we are, inspired the title of our second CD. The New Spirituals Project has deepened our understanding of the African-American experience. Linda Tillery has used each new spirituals concert to demonstrate and teach about an aspect of traditional African-American music, such as the role of the spirituals in the Underground Railroad or the drums in slave uprisings. Muse also learned through the pre-concert talks by Bernice Johnson Reagan, Rachel Bagby, Portia Maltzby and Dorothy Cotton, as well as representatives of the Underground Railroad Freedom Center. All of these speakers shared their perspective on the history of African American music and connected it to its broader social context. We learned more about Harriet Tubman through the Liberty or Death Suite and the legend of the Igbo people walking on the water to Africa from Igbo lessons, or the many biblical texts from the spirituals arranged by Jacqueline Hairston. We found ways to connect what we were learning in the New Spirituals Project to other audiences. For example, in a fall concert highlighting Jewish music, we performed Go Down Moses. In our introduction, we talked about the commonalities of the struggle for freedom of the Jewish people and the people of African descent. Through the New Spirituals Project, we have had many opportunities for Muse to interact with and learn from our guest artists. We've been coached by Bernice Johnson Reagan, Ace Maria Barnwell, and Rosephany Powell on singing in the African American tradition. Through Linda's performances and congregational singing, we have been introduced to many forms of traditional African American music, such as the ring shout, the long metered hymn, and the gospel quartets. We have performed with the Ohio Unity Choir, the Cultural Heritage Choir, and the Central State University Choir. Learning from these wonderful musicians has enriched our repertoire and expanded our choral sound. The New Spirituals Project introduced the music of Africans displaced through forced immigration and slavery to North America, South America, and the Caribbean. Percussionists John Santos, Baba Charles, Linda Thomas-Jones, and Liz Wu have supported and challenged us to learn and perform more complex rhythmic patterns. Jackie Rago and Erika Lukett taught us African, Cuban, and Hispanic rhythms, instrumentation, and understanding of the impact of African culture in Venezuela through the New Spirituals Commission's Canto para Todos and Voices at the Crossroads. Through these concerts, we began to reach out to the growing Hispanic community and broadened our understanding of the true meaning of the spiritual as the voice of all oppressed people. Muse 
Muse learned I feel like going on from Issei Barnwell in a 1991 workshop. Since we didn't learn it from the printed page, it was a challenge for many of us. Six of the seven African-American members of Muse performed I Feel Like Going On four months later in the spring concert. The success of this performance inspired a group of women to continue to perform together for 11 years as sister friends. In the first New Spirituals concert in 1994, Linda Tillery rehearsed with the African-American members of Muse and they performed together as the Midwest Cultural Heritage Choir in our New Spirituals concert. Sister Friends continued to sing throughout the Tri-State and performed in eight spring concerts. Amongst their repertoire were Women Should Be a Priority, No Mirrors in My Nana's House, and Gift of Love, all pieces that the whole choir would much later come to perform. The New Spirituals Project has opened doors for us to become a more diverse choir. When Muse was founded in 1984, we had only two African American members. In 1988, when Kathy asked Bernice Johnson Reagan how to get more women of color into our choir, Dr. Reagan responded, Can a black person hear and see herself in your choir when you sing? After a discussion in Muse, we agreed to target six of our eight openings and auditions that year for women of color. We began advertising our auditions in the African American and Latino newspapers and on radio. In 1995, Lois Chagag became our assistant conductor and has supported our growth in singing in the African American tradition and has been a great help in teaching Muse how to move and clap at the same time. Now, with over 20 women of color and more experience singing in the African-American tradition, Muse much more reflects our home, Cincinnati, which is 42% African-American and 2% Latino. I Feel Like Going On has become a metaphor for the legacy of the New Spirituals Project. Through learning the history of the spirituals, we better understand the resistance to slavery and the courage to stand against oppression. Muse has grown into being able to perform I Feel Like Going On. We often join hands to deliver this song with passion, power, and respect born of our deeper understandings of the trials that mount on every hand. I Feel Like Going On was a message of hope that we wanted to share as we ended our recent concert at the Ohio Reformatory for Women. Being able to learn the song by rote, to sing it with a real depth of understanding, to love this song, this is the real legacy of the New Spirituals Project.